What's up, Daniel? I was told we have a question about how the A4SS tactical weapon carrier works with the Sky Crane, the J79 Sky Crane. So I've got my Sky Crane here, and I've got my A4SS here. There's a couple things to talk about here. So if you're putting it in with the full J79 system, you'll find a zipper on top, back here. If you want to open that up, you'll also find a zipper on the bottom here. That's what's going to open up the tunnel that allows you to then take your A4SS weapon carrier and I'm going to feed it down through that tunnel. You'll see in there, I have Molly webbing inside that tunnel. And so once you get in there, you'll take the Molly webbing strap here, weave that down and that'll secure it in there. And that's basically it. But one other thing to talk about with the Sky Crane is the Sky Crane system comes with what is also our G1 little brother zipped into it. And so when you're doing that, it'll make it a lot easier to place the scabbard in here if you remove the G1 little brother. So I now have the access to my Molly. I can just lay my tactical weapon carrier that way. I'll use my two Alice clips to secure it. I'll weave my Molly back and forth all the way down. But the, the other thing here is the G1 little brother also accepts the A4SS tactical weapon carrier. So you can also place it into the G1 and place that whole system inside the Sky Crane like you saw me just remove it, or you can fix it directly to the Sky Crane. You got a lot of different options here. So uh, in any case, you can simply undo your zippers. And then when that system is being used, the tactical weapon carrier would be accessible like that because the zipper is undone. It'd be fixed in place there or vice versa. You can do the same thing on the little brother and you'll still be able to access the tactical weapon carrier. So hope that answers your question. If it doesn't, let us know. We'll show you a different way. Thanks.